Raindrops keep falling on my head. That's way it's done, and I ain't going to bed. I talked to the sun, and I said, Hold me, you mother, I don't like how your ass. The birds like it. But I did me some talking to the sun. I told him I don't like how things are done. Because he is sleeping on the job right now. So, what do you do when you're a motorcyclist and it's raining like this? You could either go out, fight the elements, or you can clean your garage and make room for your two motorcycles like I did. Look at the size of those. Look at that. Look at the size difference. I think I told you guys I put the springs on the seat. I did. And I nearly wrecked. So I put the seat back the way it was. When I put the springs on the seat, yeah, the ride's more comfortable, but it also take a, took away a lot of my leg room, and I was like almost on top of the gas tank. So I'm going to leave the seat like that. Now, my tool for the clutch came in, guys. Here it is right here, man. Check it out. That's it. That's what you want right there. There's also another tool that goes around the clutch hub. Well, it doesn't go around it, but it's like... Um, there's two holes, and I actually goes on the clutch basket to hold that in place or you can put it in gear and uh, lock your rear wheel up which uh, that's what I'm gonna do but we're gonna take that off and uh, we're gonna take a look at our clutch in a couple days here now here's the old springs let me see if I can get a boost of spring see if I can fit through here without knocking these motorcycles over guys Oh, man, where's my Boosa Springs? They're way up there. Anyway, see, that's one of the Boosa Springs there. That, see that green one? Man, I gotta get up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pause you guys. Okay. I forgot I had pause function on this camera. Now, these are the Honda Rebel Springs here. And I'm doing that with my bad thumb, too. Now, these are the Hayabusa Springs. They're a lot stronger. A little shorter, too, but they're a little stronger. Put you back in your home, and... Uh, See, so these, the, these are the Barnett Springs. They're actually even stronger yet. I can't even compress this. I can't even compress it. Oh yeah, and there, that, that's my chain tool kit right there. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I did. I, um, I made a little bit of room in here because my garage leaks. Well, when it rains real hard like it's going to do later, it leaks. Now, I think I told you guys in one of the videos, I put the shocks on setting number one, which is a mistake. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to put these on number five. What's that? You guys want me to start it up? You you guys like hearing the sound of this, don't you? All right, all right, I'll start her up.
So anyway, anyway, <clears throat> I've decided I'm going to paint the Hayabusa the same color as the Honda Rebel. I like that paint so much, I'm taking all these off, I'm taking all the decals off, and we're going to paint the Hayabusa majestic purple. When I go out of my freaking mind. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Those are words of wisdom. You guys and gals remember that, man. If it isn't broke, don't mess with it. You are oblang lazio. You feels me, man. I know you likes that, don't you? You likes it, don't you? I know you likes them words. I see your eyeball on that, that gas tank. You like how I got that gas tank, huh? First time I use automotive paint. It ain't bad. Anyway, guys. All right. Next video, I'll do a clutch job on that. And I will show you guys through step by step from taking the cover off, draining the oil, take the cover off, taking off the um, the bearing race, and taking the um, I'm damn near fell. Holy crap! I'm not that tired. I'm not that old either, actually. And then um, taking that spanner knot off. And I'm gonna. Uh, I'm pretty good with these with these wet clutches. There is a certain way that the plates go on, just like I showed you guys when I did the um, I did the Hayabusa's clutch. There is the clutch plates just don't go on any old way, guys. I'm not talking about the friction plates. I'm talking about the metal plates. If you look at them real good under a magnifying glass. You will see the edges are tapered. The flat side has to go always facing out. Or, you know, the way you take them off, that's the way they got to go in. But we're going to take a good look at these clutch, um, the clutch plates under a magnifying glass. And I'll do all that on a raw video. Till then... It's about 12 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to have some popcorn and I got to get rest <sighs> because I'm on a graveyard ship still. Catch you guys later.